We are here looking at our first unveiling of this awesome new cargo series that we've come out. Jeff is our product category manager and just exciting all the stuff that we're kind of reinventing and making ATC much more competitive, much more exciting. Um, we've had so many people that have asked us or taken our cargo trailer and tried to custom upfit it themselves. So we're gonna take that hassle away from them and just tell us about this awesome unit, Jeff. Yeah, thanks Dale. Um, so yeah, this one is our Stow 350. Um, and what uh, the 50 in our Stow 350 refers to is it makes it a configurable trailer that will feature two rows of configurable track system on the inside. So we'll get to that here in a second. But this one is the Stow 350 and the Stow 350 is available in two model lengths. One would be a uh, 12 foot long model and one would be a 14 foot long model. The 12 foot long model comes with a single 3,500 pound axle with brake and the 14 foot model has a 5,200 pound axle uh, also with a brake and so that actually gets rated at a 5,000 pound GVWR. Um, so yeah, we're really excited about these models and look forward to explaining a little bit more about what we've got in this. Yeah, something very cool is just the aesthetics. I love the new color you're coming out with. Uh, anything about the outside aesthetics you want to show us? Yeah, so you're right. This is a new color that we're starting to offer. This is our Dove Gray. Um, this model in the Stow 350 is available in five colors, uh, Dove Gray being the, the one that we showcased here for the, for the show. Uh, but then also, um, you'll see that it has the black trim package. So when you're into the Stow 350 model, it actually starts as a cargo trailer. So if you really want to start with basically just a cargo trailer, um, but it'll still have the configurable um, track backers, then you can start with a cargo trailer at the Stow 350. Jeff, tell me a little about the packages. Like, how can I buy this? What, what, how's it configured? What happens with that? Mm -hmm. So the, the Stow 350 starts off as a cargo unit. So if you want to buy just the plain cargo trailer with a wood floor, plywood walls, that sort of thing, you can get that in the Stow 350. We also offer it with an Adventure Series package, which is what's showcased here. Um, where you actually get a lot of features on the inside. You get the insulation, you get the gray coin floor, you get the Asdell walls, um, and it's what really makes it into a special unit that makes it more toy haulerish. You get the windows, um, you get the step, different things like that. But then beyond that, you can also get a 30 amp electrical package if you so choose. Um, this one was also selected with the black trim package where you actually get yeah. the black trim on the front for the gravel guard. That looks amazing. Um, You'll see the trims going down the side. We'll also give you the black trim, um, so that's available. And then this one was also um, selected with our off-road package. And so when you look at our off-road package, what you get with that is, um, first of all, it gives you three inch more ground clearance. So you get more um, ground clearance uh, for uh, some of those uh, off-road type adventures. Um, and then you also get um, the ATP or aluminum tread plate fenders. Um, and uh, in the uh, all-terrain tires. It's super exciting because there's so many people buy our cargo trailer and then we see them cutting them up and doing this and figuring out. So we're taking a lot of that yeah. crazy hassle or it could be on a dealer's lot. You know that it's framed for a window. We can do all this stuff or we can do this amazing package for you. And it'll be super exciting once we get inside, you'll see how you can configure it and build it to fit your lifestyle. Yeah, let's take a look. Holy cow, this is the nicest, cleanest looking cargo trailer I've ever seen in my life. The cool spoiler. Tell me about, how did you guys come up with this? This is awesome. Yeah, so it's, it's kind of what you were talking about earlier, Dale, which is trying to give customers a chance to be able to configure their trailer without putting screws in and taking them out and putting them in and, and then messing up the whole interior wall. So the whole process behind this is around the track system that we've put in. So we've got an upper track and a lower track. That's our configurable track that we put in there. And then what makes it great is there's all kinds of modular cabinets, uh, furniture items, tables, different things like that that you can actually integrate into the uh, track system. And so you can move things where you want, you can take them out for this trip. It really allows you to be able to use the trailer as your family and your life needs change. Yeah, so many, you might have another kid or you yeah. get a different toy or whatever. Yeah. And it's just, this allows you to keep this, the, long, the trailer last a long, long time. Yeah. So why not let it, let it adjust to your life as it yeah. changes? Yeah. Um, you talked to about, tell me about the rear width, the opening, all that good stuff. Yeah. So this is an 80 inch wide trailer. Um, so in our model numbers, we show that out as a 6.7 wide model. Uh, but what that really comes down to, it's an 80 inch wide trailer. And a lot of people say, well, Why'd you pick 80? What, what, what makes sense with 80? Well, 
When you look at the SUV market, you know, what we're really doing is going after the smaller tow vehicles. And the 80 inch width really seemed to pair well with the majority of the, the smaller yeah. SUVs. Yep. So that way you're not bucking any extra wind that you need to. Um, and it also, one of the things we were able to do in this was by going 80 inches, yes, it's narrower than the typical seven wide, but with the way we designed it, our rear ramp door opening it's right, right here. here, it's actually wider than what you'll find in most conventional seven foot wide yeah. models. So, so we actually get 76 inches of rear dimension of opening width here. So you still can put in, you know, a two seat side by side, um, something like that that will still fit into into a single axle unit like this. Yeah, I can because the rear opening's wider, I can get a bigger toy than a seven wide in it. Right, so. and you're not bucking the extra wind and yep. all that stuff that gas you need for. Cheap. Yeah, so. gas is not cheap. Exactly. Anymore. Yep. Yep. Awesome. Well, cool. Why don't we take a look a little closer inside yeah. here then? So, Jeff, we moved inside, and again, you're going to show us all this configuration. Can you show us a little bit about the cabinets, how everything works, and yeah, configures? Yeah. So what we've done in here is we've devoted a lot of attention to be able to create cabinets that you can add to the lower track, uh, the upper track here, sorry, or the lower track. Um, this one here is a really popular size where we have a 12 by 24, so 12 inches tall, 24 inches long, and you can basically take it off the track, move it anywhere you want. Um, this one right here is a 24 by 48 that can be installed um, like all of our other cabinets, vertically or horizontally. <laughs> so when you buy one cabinet, you actually get a couple different choices of how you want to have it oriented. Like up there in front of Dale, you'll see that's the same cabinet up yeah, there. It's just oriented one, yeah. uh, vertically. Um, and then while we're here too, we've got a um, sofas. You can see we've got the sofas that fit into the lower track. Um, and what's great about the way these sofas work in the model that we have here, it actually rolls over and actually creates a really expansive bed if hmm. you so choose in the back. That's so great. that allows your customer, your your um, people in here to be able to sleep north south, or if you want, you could put a bunch of kids on here. But it makes a really comfortable bed uh, for sleeping. I see you got two egress windows. That's good for safety. Yeah. Yep. Um, it's got the egress window. We've got an egress window um, on both sides on this unit here, anyway. We also have a shelf up here, um, and again, all of these are modular. You can put them anywhere you want, but this is a 48 inch shelf. Uh, and then we've got some more components up here of the uh, 12 by 24 uh, upper cabinets. This one, we added in a, um, a fold down countertop. Yeah. So, and the chairs, you can move the chairs. This folds down even against the wall and so forth. Again, complete functionality. You may want it here, you may want it over here, and we even have two different sizes of, of fold-down countertops. Um, and then up here at the front of the trailer, you'll see what we've got. But right here, this is the trapezoid cabinet that comes standard when you get the 30 amp electrical package. Uh, and what that is, it encompasses all of your electrical needs in here. There's space for a battery um, down here, so it's prepped for a lithium battery. You can put a lithium or two lithium batteries in there. Um, you've got your breaker box, but then these areas right here, this is an actual module. This is our sink module that can be added to it. It gives you a lot of really nice counter space up here, which we've, which we've uh, selected for this unit. And what's nice about the sink package is it has two five gallon tanks that are down there. That's awesome. So you get a fresh tank yeah. and you get a gray tank. Yeah. And then at the end of the season, when it's time to winterize it, you just take them, put them in your garage at home or in your basement, and your unit is completely winterized. Well, you're even at a big race, you can just grab those, empty them, fill them up, bring yeah. them back. That's sweet. But it's a, a pretty simple system that yeah. um, works nice and it's all self-contained. And again, if you want to have your sink system right here at the front of the trailer, you can. If you would rather have it over here, you can do that. Um, you can put it where you want. The only issue is you do need to have access to uh, electrical for it. So that's why we selected it up here in the front. Um, and then over on this side, we've got a drawer unit. Again, right here, this is a module that can be moved to any place you want inside the trailer. We selected to put it up here. Uh, we also have a really nice microwave cabinet that goes up here that a lot of people will choose as well. Uh, but it just gives you complete functionality and flexibility of how you want this to, to be laid out. So here's our cabinets, and I want to show you a little closer detail of how these are actually designed. But this one here is a 24 by 24 as opposed to the 12 uh, by 24 cabinet. They all come standard with nets, but you can also choose to do a poly door 
So it would have doors that look a little bit more like this down here. Um, or you can uh, choose to do the acrylic smoked glass. If you do the acrylic smoked glass, that looks especially great when you put the RGB lighting in, which is also an option, where you can have the LED lights going behind that. It looks absolutely fantastic. Um, but they all come standard with nets as you, as you get them. So the way that these work, um, like I said, you've got the nets up here, and then basically you um, unthread off the rods, And then your cabinet removes from the wall like this and then you can move it anywhere you want and back here are the studs that it actually rests into so if you want to move this you simply remove the studs to a different location and then you go ahead and fix your cabinet back up on the wall and it fits right in there and then you go ahead and just thread it back on and you've got it all set this unit also uh, has an awning on the outside, which was an option, so it's a 12 volt awning. In order to get the 12 volt awning, you wanna make sure you get your 30 amp package. Um, but aside from that, um, this one here is relatively uh, loaded out with, with the bells and whistles. But again, you can get it as a plain cargo trailer if you want and build up to this over time. Yeah, is it uh, AC, heat, all that stuff? What about the... We got a lot of stuff going up here in the cove. What's, yeah. what's going on there? Um, it, it's prepped for air conditioner. Okay. So it's ready for an air conditioner if you get your 30 amp service. Yeah. Uh, we've got some portable type uh, heater systems that we would suggest uh, yeah. if you do want to have heat in those uh, uh, the third and fourth seasons and yeah. so forth. Um, and then insulation. Uh, we have an R3 insulation in this unit, so we'll have R3 in the walls, but then we double it up for the roof, so you get an R6 in the roof, and then the ramp door, you get an R6 as well. Yeah, this thing just is perfect for a couple or whatever that just have a small truck, want to take it somewhere, but really you could add this to a big motorhome. Now yeah. you got a kid's, grandkids area yeah. that they can sleep in, because you always got to take more stuff or whatever, so yeah. it's incredibly versatile. It's yeah. awesome. Truth be told, when we were testing this out, I took it out in my wife's RAV4 the other there day too. And nice. so not a major uh, tow vehicle, but it, <laughs> yeah. it did well. So, yeah. yeah, awesome. Yeah, Well done, man. Well, cool. Thanks for watching, appreciate you looking. Um, obviously more information on the website, uh, but look forward to having you all have a chance to explore this more. Yep, find one at your local dealer.